Hey, I'm Chuck Holdsworth, uh, owner of Chuck Holdsworth Flying Service in Burden, Illinois, and Lincoln, Illinois. With all the moisture and things, uh, wheat's got some disease in it this year. Some head scab in the south, some leaf disease farther up this way, and uh, we're just putting on some plant health products to make the plant healthier. I didn't want to be an airline pilot because I didn't want to drive a, fly a school bus, so this is way cooler and I enjoy it a lot more than that corporate stuff. So. I don't know, you just gotta always pay attention and you're going fast and just gotta look in front of you. And full load, diving into the field about 140 and then you'll level off to be about 130. The reason we're out spraying a lot of times is because it's too wet for the ground roots. A lot of farmers don't want to drive through because you knock down a lot, of, a lot of yield when you drive through wheat fields this time of year. So that's why we're spraying them with an airplane. Same way with corn and beans. We won't start spraying them till end of June, 1st of July when they're too big. You cause too much damage with the ground rig, then they turn it over to us. Those airplanes look like they're flying just fine when you and I watch them on the ground. When those airplanes are loaded, they're loaded. They're heavy and they don't want to fly that heavy. The more load you get worked off, the easier they are to fly, the more maneuverable they are. But when they're loaded, they're, they're right on the edge. And bigger airplanes will run 160 to 180 miles an hour. So things happen really quick that close to the ground. So it, it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of experience to be doing what they're doing. That experience makes it look easy. I understand when you're standing on the ground watching them, you think it's a lot of fun and it looks like a neat job, and it is. Most of us can't wait to get to work, but it is, it is, there's a whole lot more to it than it looks.